Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Rescue World Shed. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Alton Park for round four UK time attack. Let's have it. That's a good one. So as I mentioned in the previous video, 17th of July, round four UK time attack, Alton Park. I've never been to Alton Park. I hear it's an amazing circuit. So we are definitely gonna have some fun. Um, a lot of usual suspects here. Obviously, Novichok is uh, ready as as ready as it ever going to be. Sergio in his Evo parked right next to me. Then we have Carl. Yes, Carl. Right, mate. <laughs> I'm Say your hello. Videos at last. He, oh. he, he always wanted to be on Rusty World <laughs> Chat. You know, <laughs> that's it. That's, that's my well, life ambition. That's on, it. on one of those I famous channels. Yeah, you can you can it. touch me. Touch I've me. Peaked. Oh, yeah, that's man, it. Yeah. You see, that's it. You, you you've seen it now. <laughs> Yeah, his Clio is all ready. It's always ready, Carl, isn't it? You're always on it. Ready, you're, you're on it. You're on it. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, uh, we don't mention that. No, we don't mention that. Last minute changes. I bet he's putting some carbon pads or something like that. That thing is quite incredible. The guys posted the picture. He's a newcomer. It's a Celica GT4. Always had a soft spot for those because it's, you know, in rally car, man. Hopefully we'll do really, really good. Uh, yeah, really nice, really nice library and everything. So what else do we have here? What else do we have here? Let me show you real quick. This thing, the Peugeot 206. Little birdie told me it has a K20 or 24, K20 inside. I'm not even sure if it has a sequential. Um, no, it doesn't look like a sequential, but this thing, supposedly going to be really, really, really fast. The usual extreme BHP uh, BRZ. Is it BRZ? Yes, it's BRZ. And Jamie Rood, the arch nemesis, sort of. The only other turbo, turbo clear. Hello. Is it ready? Uh, just, yeah. Yeah? You've been to Alton before? Yes. What times should I expect from mine compared to yours? I know not comparable uh, but like i've never been i don't even know what to do i know carl is doing 142 142 i think you need to be 135 in yours with the power you got uh, fucking hell 135 something to aim for yeah yeah <laughs> i mean it, in all honesty that's what i was kind of thinking 135 yeah, yeah. to 137 somewhere to to begin with and then start yeah. pushing it quick, i've yeah. never been here Anything before so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so hopefully yeah. oh yeah, not as big as mine, not as big as mine, you know what I mean? Not as big as mine, but yeah, they're absolutely essential on a turbo build because the, the heat under there is just quite immense, especially if you're... Um, yours is not high high boost, right? You're sort uh, of... 22 PSI. So it's uh, yeah. quite high, yeah, so that's high boost, yeah. High boost. Ooh, I don't think I've actually ever seen underneath here before. Lots of gold, lots of red. First class stamp. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, and you're running 200... 280, something like that 280, yeah, yeah, about 280. Yeah, yeah. The same in, 280. In, in all honesty, I mean, I've tried sort of my lowest boost setting and it's almost maximum what you actually really need from a Clio because the, they are brilliant chassis anyways and anything more than that and you're kind of fighting with the car you're fighting yeah, with yeah. grip you're fighting with your own sort of reaction times anything under 300 i mean at the top sort of 200 mark it's perfectly manageable and i think it, it that's what the sort of uh, a high higher version cool. from factory should have come with you know with just megantor i mean they had the engine why didn't they do that they instead they decided to make a v6 granted looks amazing but they're fucking slow yeah that's sorry true. my french um so yeah they, they should have put a turbo engine in the clear and made well, it a special like edition full boost full torque about 2000 rpm that's Straight brilliant through. yeah so it's always yeah. there yeah so it's quite same because mine there. is a 550 G, uh, garrett and um at two and a half three it's already on full, boost. on full boost so yeah. that's why you know i'm able to it sort of even it, it makes yeah. a big difference yeah yeah yeah, yeah. In a track car. yeah last thing you want is sort of boost at 5000 and then you 5k yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Let's check the tire pressures, warm the car up, and I think our first session should be around, what time is it now? Almost nine o'clock, I think we start at 10. So let's get the show on the road. All right, so time has come 
Time has come, 10.30 almost. Uh, the Civic Cup's just gone by, uh, by. The car is warmed up, all the cameras are on. Let's go to the staging area and uh, let's, see, let's see what this track is all about. It's gonna get hot, it's gonna get bloody hot. I'm kind of showing you how I'm getting in, but I'm not because I still need my helmet, but yeah. Cut! seconds later. <laughs> Bloody hot guys, seriously, I think this is the hottest I've ever been in a car. Just dripping sweat. But good good thing first, the aircon 
cheap man's aircon is actually working it definitely does save you because there's a bit of a breeze into your face so it definitely does make a difference all right report here's my time 138 whatever uh, nearly nearly pointless to even compare it to anything because a obviously excuses race car guy excuses i've never been here before so i was really learning the track the track is beautiful probably second best after Cardwell because it, it, there is elevation and it's really technical so you definitely need to know where you're going um, I almost stuffed it once um, so definitely there is a lot more to learn and obviously I'm not running full boost just yet anyways um, but I think the car behaved really really well so I'm definitely happy with that <sighs> let's walk around let's see how huh? bit an unfortunate Carl the gearbox gone he literally did one lap maybe two laps fucking gutted and this thing the one with the k20 engine the shaft is gone how bloody unfortunate is that did you even do any lap you did towards the end wasn't it yeah towards the end fucking just hell just trying to find a weld set now so that i can get it welded so what, what what happened again where ah okay that's not terrible i mean if, you... if i can get it welded i'll be back out yeah um theoretically fuck you know what all you need is literally um, a welding rod a jump lead and have a big battery and you can just yeah there's a guy do that. um 20 minutes down the road who can weld it for me also like, don't worry about waiting for them they're they're not gonna need anything welded so so yeah here you are folks expect the unexpected let's go and see if jamie had a decent run they are checking something they are checking something i'm not sure what they're checking but what's going on here guys everything good no it's missing it's missing fired. what oh for fuck's sake it'll be good now it'll be good now uh, we had a dodgy club oh did you yeah Put water uh, in it so hopefully it's fixed and how's your petrol because i had experienced this before even with my sorrel pots and everything if it's a bit too low it would still uh, on really high well, boost is just not enough half tank, tank. Yeah. and i've got a swirl pot yeah for now let's go chill out in a, in a shade
Sorry, I'm a little bit half naked, but I just need to cool, cool down. Little issue. You see this? It pissed itself. Uh, what happened is the hose, let me show you. Yeah, the cooling hose came off the pipe. And as you can see right now, it's, it's too hot. Um, so yeah, we just need to wait for it for to cool down. Take the bumper off. Uh, put the uh, Jubilee clip back on. Uh, find some water, coolant or whatever and refill uh, the system. One hour later. Terrible. Yeah. It's, so it's a chill town. Air conditioning, that's what we like. Basically, guys, the hose has been fixed. Essentially what it would happen. I did see it the other day and I looked at it. Uh, the Jubilee clip was really close to the edge of the bottom pipe. And I did look at it and I was like, oh, that's not really sexy and uh, it might come off at some point. Uh, but it didn't come off before for a very long time. Um, but I did spot it. So it's, it kind of proves the point again. Every time I spot something and I think, oh, that's not quite right, just fix it. Fix it straight away. That's a really good tip for all of you guys. Just don't leave it until it fails. Um, but yeah, it was just easy fix. It didn't even come off completely. We just pushed it a bit more closer together. Uh, I think it was because there was only you working on it. You would have had to push it together. And that as well, yeah. It was, you kind of need leverage to sort of push the two pipes together a bit closer. So we did that Jubilee clip on uh, extra water. I think we lost about four and a half liters of water. Sergio had some coolant, so we replaced it with a bit of coolant. Some tap water, uh, only the finest. Uh, yeah, let the system all seems to be fine. So now we're going to chill here for the next five, ten minutes. Uh, talking talking about sugars and everything and yeah yeah sure and then yeah get ready for another session uh, in about 25 minutes so we'll see there were there were a lot of people who unfortunately had to put their cars on the trailer so to speak um, just breakages engine failures and gearbox failures and stuff like that so a bit unfortunate for all those people um, but the name of the game isn't it so um, it will just give us a bit more breathing space now on the track. Uh, it's a big track, so it's not really a huge issue. Anyways, let's cool off and I'll see you on the track.
So third session. Well, the truck is too hot. I can feel it. Maybe it will sound like a proper, proper excuse, but it just feels way, way too hot. I mean, I was 0.5 of a second slower than the second session, even though, well, anyway, same as Sergio. So I don't feel that I will improve on the fourth session. Therefore, I think we decided to end on a high note and just preserve the car. I mean, it's all, it's all good. So let's just put it on the trailer. We've learned the track ever so well, as much as we could have enjoy it. It's a long drive home and um, next week, 10 of the best and we'll see what we can do over there. Um, yeah, as always, time attack amazing amazing crowd everyone is super helpful and as I, I can actually see a lot of people putting cars on the trailer so i'm not the only one so yeah see the the, the silica and everything so actually you know what probably session number four would have been good because there's half a car is missing so i can actually really really get some good times but it's okay i'm not even obviously upset because that's my decision the car run good and everything so anyways guys i'm gonna end it here so don't forget to subscribe like this video please leave me a comment because a lot of you who watch don't leave a comment why not it definitely helps my youtube you know go higher and everything and views and stuff so you know i can make more 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 great videos for you and motivation and everything anyways i'll see you in the next one guys bye